guys welcome to our channel 3 minutes master where you can learn any concept in 3 minutes in this video i want to give you a basic idea regarding the factorial program in c using iteration here we go in general what do you mean by a factorial uh, a factorial of a number n is defined as the product of all positive integers that are below n up to 1 Let me take the help of an example. The factorial of n is denoted with a n exclamatory symbol, and the product goes like this: n into the next decremented value of n with further decremented value of n, that is n minus two, so on up to one. Consider an example of four. Four factorial is defined as four into three into two into one, and the result is twenty-four. For the program i mean uh, program for factorial can be written using a uh, iteration method so what actually is iteration uh, this iteration is a process where set of instructions or statements are executed repeatedly for specified number of time or until a condition is met uh, it is commonly called as a loop in c we have loops like for while do while Let me explain this particular concept with the help of an example. If at all we wanted to find the factorial of a three, it goes like this: three into two into one. Always the product of any particular value starts with one. So I have initiated the fact value with one. So I'll be taking a particular loop to repeat it for three times, or so-called n times. I will multiply. the value of the current loop with the fact value and finally fact value will be stored let me consider this uh, this example with iteration number 1 the fact is multiplied with 1 in the first iteration 2 in the next iteration and 3 in the third iteration for the next iteration the condition falls now the value that is in fact that is 6 is the result let me help take the help of the program here In the program, I will initialize the uh, three variables: one with the uh, uh, n for which value I need to find the factorial, and the i for the loop sake, and fact the initial product. Runtime, I will consider the value of n, and I will repeat this particular loop using for loop for n times, and each time I will find the product with the current loop number and store in the fact value, and finally I'll print the value of fact. That's it. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video.